What's happening, beautiful gamers? Blank here, and welcome back to another episode of Blasphemous. So first things first, do not forget to pray so that way we can re-equip the item that you guys want the most. My favorite one, of course, is the one regarding the prayers, because I believe that... Or regarding the parries, because I believe that that's fantastic. And just make sure, 100%, that you have everything equipped. And as a matter of fact, we do. So now, after that, we can actually proceed. This area is going to feature a couple of different enemies. You guys saw how that metal enemy, he's immortal, but he went through the paintings. Pretty, pretty sketchy paintings, they actually revive. Three hits with our current strength should be more than enough to take care of them. This one's not a problem, and now it's time for us to... Well, there is supposed to be an enemy here. I'll be showing her up later on. They, they pretty much stay dead for some reason, and that's really strange. So... Just trying to get the hang of this area. R go all the way to the left so you can grab the final item for the kissers. The sorry garlic. And then, of course, we have a couple of bodies that we can interact with. Don't really want to deal with it. And as always, we're always looking for anything that would allow us to have more money. You're going to come down one more time? Classic games like this, like this yes? Now, of course, let's re-equip another one of our favorite items. We're going to be equipping now the Hand of the Fraternal... A master because that's pretty good and then we are gonna be going all the way to the right now this is a puzzle that we cannot complete right now because right now all you can do is set up a, a marker in there because you need three items you need the big red wax blue wax the big red wax and then do take damage on yourself so right now if you guys see your items we only have the medium and the medium so yeah, we are missing something that we're going to be getting soon. But anyways, let's keep going with our adventure. Now we're going to be actually proceeding through the left so we can get some cool items. This station is going to have some sites that you got to be careful of. You can actually just crouch, take care of it. These mannequins, they're pretty dangerous, so make sure that you're crouching on time, taking care of them. Ooh, be careful with that side, and of course, the fire enemy that is at the other side. Pretty annoying one. Just, just like the previous one that we fought. Stay away from him, and then move forward. Yep, it's gonna be tough. There's so much going on that it's really hard for you to actually do something, but make sure that you have pretty, pretty good vessels, and then take care of him. There you go. He's not that difficult. He just takes a lot of your health. And now we can go inside and we're gonna buy the couple of items that we need to get. Another buy vessel and the key that I've been saving Face for. Feast your eyes on the envy of every merchant. The finest treasure to ever find its way into my hands. And may my heart stop beating if I'm being dishonest. We're going to be buying, of course, the empty vessel. Handing this over is not something that delights me. So, its price is as high as its value to me. And may the bells toll for me if I ever deceive you. <laughs> that is exactly why we need the money. And then we have this item right here. This is a precious treasure to me. Its value goes far beyond what I ask for it. And may I don mourn in black if I'm trying to deceive you? And, well, this one, the inference provide protection from toxic damage. It's pretty cool if you guys want to get it. If you guys are trying to get all the prayers, make sure to get it. I am not going to get it, but that's for you guys if you guys want to, well, acquire it. That's why we have so much money so far. At this point, we're going to be going to the left. And we're going to be proceeding through more puzzling sections that are pretty hard. So be careful, because right here, you could die. Pretty sure you have noticed that, yeah, this game doesn't have anything easy in the repertoire. Jump that one. Beautiful. Be careful. 
Wait for it and then don't die. I I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Beautiful. Oh, look at my display of skills. You who am dead? No, I'm not. Perfection. We're gonna go through the ladder first. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm the I'm the best. Oh god, that's just that's just insane. Then from here we're gonna have to be careful with those enemies. I want I want what's inside. Of course, the best way to acquire this is take care of these guys and then go through them. Get the beautiful Quicksilver. And then from here, we're gonna be going down first. And then from here, we're just gonna access the door so we can get the items. Give me the, finally the big, big blue wax, and then of course we can take care of him just by using our skill. Pretty easy, that's another little kid. And then from the left, look at what we have. The kneecap of the silent puppeter, and see where we at? Now from here, right, of course you guys are gonna see the connection right here all the way to the sleeping campuses, but we can actually take care of the mercy of dreams to deliver the... Rosary nuts. So let's take care of that right now. Let's go to Alberto first. Remember, we need a lot of money, right? So right now we don't have enough money. I believe you need 12,000 or 14,000. So there's not much that we can do except for speaking with them and finishing up their quest. Yep, give them the Suri Karlik. Merciful be, penitent one. With your contribution, the work of this brotherhood carries on. There you go. See the amount of tears of a torment that they gave you? Insane. The miracle is taking us away. One up. And now with that, let's verify something pretty fast. We have 24. Yep. That should be enough. So, so far we have 32 of the bones. That should be enough to open up this door. We do not really need it right now. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take advantage of the money that we just collected so we can actually speak with Nacimiento. There you go. Improve the flasks. With this Quicksilver, I bless the mixture. That will recover your spilled blood. <sighs> now, this is 100% unnecessary, if I gotta be honest, like having so powerful flasks. But if you guys wanna complete quests, then it's mandatory, so... So, I'm actually quite impressed about that. Hey, what's happening, guys? Blank from the future here. As you guys can see, we're pretty strong, but... At that point, there is one Quicksilver that we didn't showcase. So we're hitting the Holy Line. We're going to be going all the way to the right. And we're going to be showing you guys where to get that final piece of Quicksilver. Take care of enemies. And you guys remember this section over here? Well, you guys have to like smack the way down. Boom. Trigger it up and then go all the way down from there to the right. And then by doing this, you will be in Petrus. Pretty cool area, but I mean it just exists there, but all you need to do is walk all the way till the end and you will get the final Quicksilver. Now from here I do want to warn you guys that if you guys appreciate having more flasks, do not be giving this final Quicksilver to Nascimento just yet, as you can actually give it to him after you have finished the game. So at this point we're just gonna be going, speak with him, finish up his quest and that's pretty much it. But remember that you will have less flask and I believe that, well, at this point we are maxed health and our flasks pretty much maxes us out. So anyways, I'll show you guys how to finish his quest line. Or what happens when you finish it. Yep, improve my flasks. With this Quicksilver, I bless the mixture that will recover your spilled blood. For your own 
sake, leave me alone. There is no need to think about what is about to happen. <laughs> then all we need to do is exit and come back inside. And there it is. Pretty sad ending. Nacimiento just died and uh, pretty pretty horrible if you ask me. Pretty unfortunate. But yeah, that finishes up his quest line and you don't need more Quicksilver. So yep. Now I'll see you guys in the previous video. Let's just go back. We can get the money by speaking with this guy. We don't really care. We need to teleport now and give our rosary beats to or rosary nuts to Rosario or oh, Soledad. And then after that we can actually go back to the library. Now let my fingers tie a new mystery. Do you have more knots for me, penitent one? Return once you possess new rosary knots to thread. May your heart be free of sin. Perfection. And now with that, we have actually acquired two more rosaries that we can actually utilize. We're going to be equipping the thorn symbol because I think damage through contact is disgusting. And then we could even equip this one, but instead I'm going to be putting the the maximum health because you know maximum health is always pretty nice and then from there we can actually go back and it's time for us to finish up tackling the library it's impressive that even as how strong we are these guys still survive two hits they are incredible take the hit that's perfectly fine and now you're gonna have to face the best thing in the game, which is not having to deal with these sights. <gasps> I almost fell right there and I might have died and that would have been really terrible. <laughs> Anyways, let's run this way and now we can actually climb all the way back up. This is why the order didn't matter because you're going to have to do this again anyways. And then we can actually go through the door for a little bit of delicious ointment. And look at that. Now we finally have four full lines of fervor isn't that beautiful get the library get that final uh, place triggered take some rest and now we gotta cross but this time instead we're just gonna be going straight up you can ignore the enemies at this point they don't really they're not really a problem and this is the one which for some reason wasn't showing up before but hey now they're showing up so now we can take care of it in spite of everything. Pretty strong, by the way. You have to actually parry whenever you get the chance. And there is no contact damage anymore, so remember that. They are not gonna... She's not gonna really be able to be too big of a challenge to you, because contact doesn't matter. Took damage right there, that's okay. And of course, getting to... Getting to this room is gonna be easy. We are actually about to, to get the items that we need over there, so... Not about to, we still gotta do a little bit, but we'll get it. We'll probably get it this episode. You wanna avoid the traps here? Wait for it to come back. And then you can do your moves. Of course, you probably would have been better just keep running, but hey, that's okay. Again, this, th those, those traps right there are pretty challenging in this game, so... Don't worry. And then the extended parries on this game. When when you don't have too much experience or you're not super like pro in this game, being able to have extended parries is one of the best things that you can do. Easy. Fine. 
fantastic. I told you guys, that thing is really powerful. Hello. You can do a lot of damage to me, but you can never stop my will. Make sure you jump this. And I think you guys saw her, yes? I'm pretty sure you guys did. If you go all the way to the right, we have our best friend. And we don't really want to speak with her just yet because we are about to get something sexy. Let's go to the left first. Get another pre do And then after this, we get this beautiful canvas. Now, this is why I was telling you guys that you need at least 20 of the children. We have gotten them, so now we can actually interact you have with found this. some of my brothers. Though, I still ask you to find the rest of them. Please, keep this canvas made from the gold of our faces. And my brothers will guide you. Penitent one. In finding these holy brethren of mine, you have completed the vision of my birth, which was painted on a sleeping canvas. My name being Hothinero, I was born of the moon and of the torment of a brave bull, and of myself by the grace of high wills, my holy brethren. Then you can speak with him one more time if you want to. Just because why not? Hello there, best friend. Please find the rest. Okay, okay, I'll find the rest, sure. Just wanted to take the chance to show you guys what he says. He doesn't even give you anything, he's just like, please find the rest. Pretty 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 unfriendly the guy. But that item is fantastic, because that item allows you to descend into bottomless abyss. So you guys remember one beautiful example is this one, uh, right here. You guys remember this section over here that we were not able to access before? Well, now that we can descend bottomless abyss, we can go from here and jump all the way down and get the items that we have in there, which are really, really important. That is something that we will eventually do. And then, of course, uh, there's more things for you to grab. Every, each one of the bottomless pits that we have been able to find, each one of them have their own specialties. So just keep that in mind. I believe that now that we have gotten everything that I wanted, we can actually take advantage of investing some money in the donation box. But we will see if we do that. But anyways, at this point, this enemy is kind of interesting to fight. He's just one, he's just got one insane move, but the rest of them are pretty manageable. But of course, if you want to decide to use her right now, if you haven't used her just yet, could be a good opportunity. We don't have that many bosses left, so keep that in mind. Expositor. Hello there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful with the damage that that thing does. That circle. If that circle catches you, then you'll die. Why are you crying? Don't be crying. Careful with the spike that is in the floor if you guys see it. Take some damage. That's perfectly fine. You guys know it. We are not... We are not in to try to do everything extremely perfect. But again, at this point, we're pretty strong and we have some really good powers that we can actually take advantage of. Start shooting fire at us. And now go back down. Keeping yourself in this corner is pretty good. Or keeping yourself below him is pretty good. Careful with the circles that he does too. Like the circle in the floor when you see the baby. That's pretty much insta-kill. Hey, hello there. I didn't know that you were gonna do something different. Touch that. Yep. Take the damage, that's fine too. Heal up. And wait for him to show up again. I, I wanna kill you now. That kid will do an insta-kill on you if that circle catches you. But anyways, just kill him.
Anyways, now we can go all the way to the right. And Library of the Negated Words. Oh yeah. This is that beautiful shortcut that I was talking to you guys about. And of course, make sure that you guys have that one equipped now. The being able to fall, just in case. But anyways, let's climb up first. Perfection as always. And then we can get another one of the children. Hello, hey, no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't do that. There you go. 26 out of 38. And then from here we can go all the way up. And if you guys take a look at it, you guys see what we have to the left and to the right. A teleporter and more items. So let's go to the left first. That way we can get the Meakupa. And of course, it's just more power. You can decide to improve the Sacred Blood. I don't really want to invest on this right now because we don't really use that power that much. And I like my Tears of Atormen, as you guys can see. By us not investing that much money, we have been able to get stuff without having to farm in this game at all. And then we're going to go to the right to get an item that we need before the roofing tops because it belongs to a quest. Yep. Just like in the previous section. Well, not the previous one, but the... The mother of mothers. Another one of the masks. And that gives us two masks. The deformed the mask and the embossed mask. Both of them are really important for one quest that we need to do. So it's a good thing that we got them now. I burn from the inside out. And my smoke is a fog that conceals everything. Now we can get the, just like I promised, the next big bead of red wax. And we can actually hit the door. And then, of course, by doing that, you guys see it. We are right at the beginning of the Library of the Negated Words. And, of course, we now we can have a conversation with our boy, Diosdado. And then we can actually teleport to be able to complete, here in Mercy of Dreams, to be able to complete this secret. And, well, I mean, that's uh, pretty much the two things that we need to do. So let's take care of that. And, hey, I need to actually go back up. Oh, hello, you hit me. Okay, that's fine. Hit that up. Remember, there are some enemies here waiting for you. sure that they pay the price for existing and then of course after this we're gonna have a beautiful time come all the way here get the pre -due. and then if you go all the way to the left you have this guy that we can speak with now oh that key of yours that you are carrying it opens a door that was veiled in ancient delusions many eons ago. Be aware of what sleeps there. I know that this is interesting and you guys might want to go inside right now. We're not going to be doing that just yet. We got to complete the the next section before doing that. We got to complete the DLC first. So at this point, just take some rest. And then, just like I promised, we're going to be equipping this. And we're going to be removing the contact damage for now. And we're going to be equipping the big bit. So that way we can actually be done with the little puzzle that we had below. And then from here, again, make sure that you have these two equipped, and then you just gotta take damage. There you go. And now we can get a new item. Molten Heart of Boiling Blood. And that one is reduces the amount of health recovered by bile vessels, but instead 
uh, after every kill okay so you can actually that's a life steal and then after doing that that's pretty much everything for this episode so i believe that at that point this is where we are going to be wrapping things up for the day after this we are going to be going through the dlc section that means that from here we're finally going to be exploring the morning and havoc but anyways i hope that you guys are enjoying this thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one